Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Learn IT. Today I will be having another session for use case scenario for requirement fulfillment which we use in our day to day development activities. So if you are new to the channel please like share and subscribe to my channel Learn IT. Please watch my videos till the end for complete information. So now let us see what is our use case. So our use case is related to state flow state transitions. Right, so let us see what is our use case. So our use case is like create a state flow for incident so that any team working on that incident can update correct state for the process. So let us move to our personal developer instance and see how we can implement this use case. So let's move further in our PDI. As you can see, this is my personal developer instance. And now let me try to open our incident list. As you can see, this is our incident list and our state transition is right now not working. Uh, we can set any state while we are in a state new. So what I will do is like I will implement the way like we can only set the correct state or relevant state for this particular incident. So now let us see how we can implement this. So now let us try to create a state model for implementing this requirement. So this is our state model and now I will try to create for our incident. So let me give a name here. Incident state transitions. And now let me click on incident table here. Let me create this state model. We can see our state model is created. Now we will try to create our state transitions. So let me click on new button here. And now new state will be there, but I will make for this in progress state. So now we have to think from which state we can move to in progress. So in progress, we can move from new and as well as from on hold because this after on hold also incident comes in progress. So let me click on the conditions the state state is one of so state is one of new on hold so now i will submit it and now let us see what is the output of this so let me try to reload this incident form and now we can see we have in progress state from new and we will be having in progress state from on hold as well. So I will show you that later. So now what I will do is like I will click on in progress and now from in progress it should move to relevant state like from in progress it can move to on hold and as well as resolved. So now let me try to create another state transition or on hold on hold will come from in progress state is in progress i will try to submit this and now let me try to reload this incident form again and now you can see we have on hold state visible under a state and now let me try to make this incident as on hold so while we are on hold we can see we have in progress state as well so we can move from on hold to in progress right so we can again move to this in progress and now we can see how we can move to our resolved state so we can move to our resolved state uh, Now let me try to create another state transition here. So this will be for resolved. So resolve will be done after in progress. So state is in progress. Save. Now I will create 
uh, for closed as well and we can see together how it's working so now it is closed and now condition will be status resolved so this i will do insert and now we can see our state transition is created for this incident table let me try to reload this form and uh, let me open another incident so that we can test it correctly incident dot list so we will open any new incident here so suppose this is the new incident where new state is there and now we can see we have only in progress available for this new state of incident let me try to click on in progress and now you will see our on hold and resolve will be visible for in progress right so we can do resolve and we can do on hold as well so let me click on on hold first and try to save it all right so i have i have saved this on hold and now we can change it to in progress again and we can save it again and now and now we can see our in progress we can set resolved so let me set this incident as resolved and now i will set this incident as resolved and now we can see our closed state will be available so let me try to click on closed and save this incident so this is whole process how we have uh, processed this incident uh, transi state transitions and uh, relevant state uh, transfer from particular state so yeah so that is all about state flow state transitions and incident table please provide your comment if you have any questions doubts or queries related to the session for more information please visit the description section under this video thanks for hearing me out stay tuned for more videos please do like share and subscribe to my channel learn it